Thanks guys. Thanks guys. Hi everyone. I'm violinist Danny Koo and it is so it's so dope to be here talking for TEDx in Fenway Park. That is so cool. So as John mentioned before, I'm a big advocate for classical music. Well, because I am a classical musician and I need to also make money and live. I'm just kidding. But classical music has the power to change people's lives. So I know today's overall theme is perspective. And on that note, I wanted to actually share a small story of mine that I really like. Um, back in the 1900s, two shoe salesmen went to Africa to see the market, right? So they both see the market. The next day, they both call their colleague back in England. And the first one says, oh, man, we're really screwed. They don't wear shoes. But then the second one's like, oh, dude, this is amazing. They don't have shoes yet. Now, the classical music world is the same. 3% of the world apparently loves classical music. So some people say this. Okay, 3% of the world loves classical music. Uh, if only it were 4%. Or there are there people more like me who are, okay, 3% of the world loves classical music. There's 97% possibility, right? And so actually, for the interest of time, I'm only playing three short works for you guys today. But I'm going to give you a little bit of context and a little guide you, um, guide you in the story making and guide you in the feeling of the music. And hopefully that will help you make the classical music your own. Now, the second piece I'm going to play is a piece by Johann Sebastian Bach. Actually, it's a little preview for the longer TED Talk I'll be giving in November. Please come. Thank you. Uh, that one's going to be on Bach. And so this is a little preview. It's called uh, Bach Sarabond. And actually, to give you a little guideline for this. Um, so Bach, we're so used to If we think of Bach, we think of this, this guy in this painting with like crazy white hair that's like this. And he's just like, you know, like one of those. But actually, he lived a life kind of like ours. He had 20 children, that's more than some of us, 20 children. He was orphaned at the age of 10. He went through a really tough life. He's not like the DJs and producers nowadays where they're all like flying in private jets. It wasn't like that back then. They all really hustled. And so his music was written for the people. And so the stigmatism that we have, that classical music is only for the rich, the wealthy, that's so not true because these incredible composers that we play every day wrote music for their friends, for their loved ones. And so this is Bach Sarabon. Another small quirky side note is that uh, the Sarabond was actually banned from a lot of parties because uh, it's a slow piece of music and partners would get too close and so they actually banned it. So Bach Sarabond. Sorry.
So we're in Boston, and so I was thinking, what can be a nice closer for this short TED Talk? And I was thinking, okay, well, my name is Danny, so I have to play Danny Boy. <laughs> so actually, this piece, there are a lot of uh, different interpretations about the lyrics of this piece, uh, this song. And the most common one is that it's about a mom sending her love, loved child to, to the army, to war. Right, and so I actually have one favor to ask of all of you before I play Danny Boy, is that can you guys all, while listening, close your eyes, just don't fall asleep, close your eyes, and can you guys imagine someone that you really love so much but is not here with you anymore? And I think if you imagine that, this music is going to hit you and touch you in a different way. So this is Danny Boy. Thank you, guys. Actually, I curated this, um, this music series from my school, New England Conservatory, a while ago. Uh, and we would, I would take students and make them, or ask them, to play at the Women's Lunch Shelter on Newberry Street. And I remember doing something similar to this. I was going to play uh, Danny Boy, and I said, can you please, my one favor is for you to think of someone that you really love that isn't here with you anymore. And I played it, and actually, when I was finished, this lady came up to me, and she's like, Danny, you know, my, my brother got shot last year and died. And actually, I was so shocked in the moment that I couldn't, I didn't feel anything because I was just so shocked. But then today, listening to, listening to Danny Boy, I, my tears kind of stopped because I was thinking of my brother. And guys, that's, that's literally the power of classical music because... 
we're all from different places. We all came here. Some people came by the green line. Some people came by the orange line. Some people walked here. Some people drove here. Some people had to make breakfast for their children before coming here. We're all from different lives, but here we are all listening to music without lyrics and feeling something special. And that's the power of classical music, and thank you so much for having me. Thanks, guys.